In this video, we're looking at installing Access Server on Ubuntu. Before we do anything, we need to create a subscription keys. So as you can see, I'm on the Access Server portal and I'm going to click on uh, License Keys. Then choose uh, Use Subscriptions, uh, the recommended uh, part here. And then I already have a couple of subscriptions for other servers. I'm going to click on buy subscription for this new one. Uh, choose the most popular one, flexible subscription here, proceed with it. And then I'm going to choose the number of concurrent connections that I need. And then um, I have to decide what kind of billing I would like to have, either annually or monthly. Once done with this, and then uh, click on proceed to payment to enter your payment information. For the purpose of this video, we're going to choose the two free one and click on create. So the activation key has been created. Uh, we're going to come back later on to copy this uh, subscription key uh, to activate our new server after the installation. So uh, let's go ahead and continue. The next step is get um, access server and you need to use uh, choose the software package that you need obviously we're using Ubuntu now make sure the right version of Ubuntu is selected and then you go ahead uh, and as you can see we have a couple of options here we can install it via repository or option two we can manually download uh, the packages and a couple of packages are available here to download uh, again, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the recommended one. I'm going to install it via repository. Um, I do have an active SSH session going on to my Ubuntu machine. So I'm going to copy these commands one at a time and uh, type it in uh, or paste it in my terminal. Uh, this is going to take a few minutes to install the access server. So I'm going to fast forward through this part and we're going to continue after the installation is completed. Okay, our installation is completed. There are a few pieces of information we need to make a note of uh, from this screen. First one is our admin UI or admin user interface address. This is uh, the address that we need to um, access our admin UI. The second one is the client user interface. Uh, so we need to make a note of this address as well. Now, as you can see here, it says login use OpenVPN account and it gives us a temporary password. So when we log into our admin UI, we're going to use this account with the temporary password, and I'm going to show you how to change the password later on. So let's go ahead and uh, grab the user admin address, uh, or admin UI address, I'm sorry, and then we're going to log in. Okay, we're at the login screen. So again, we're going to use OpenVPN as a username, so we're going to go ahead and type that in here, OpenVPN. Uh, and then I'm going to copy this temporary password and paste it in the password field. Let's go ahead and copy it and so sign in. So the very first time when you log in, you're going to be presented with the license agreement. Go ahead, read it, and click on Agree. And then uh, you are uh, logged into the user interface. Now we need to activate our subscription, so let's go back to Portal. Um, under subscriptions, uh, the subscription we created, you remember I said that we're going to come back and copy it. And so here we go, we're going to click on copy key and we're going back to user um, interface and paste it in the activation window and click on activate. Our subscription is activated here. Now one last thing I'm going to show you is to uh, change the uh, OpenVPN password. So under user management, uh, you click on user permission and then uh, click on more settings. Uh, here you can see uh, where to change the password. So I'm going to type a password uh, for this account, uh, good password, and then click on save settings and then update running server. So our password is changed. Um, I need to check, make sure the password is changed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log out of the admin UI and I'm going to log back in with my new a password so open VPN and here my new password and uh, sign in and uh, voila we are logged in with the new password this is how you install access server on Ubuntu